Hi, Pastor Dave here with our Monday Night Devotional. I hope you had some time this weekend to spend time with your family and do something fun. Jill and I were able to go out to the Legacy Trail today and go bike riding, and it was just a beautiful day. We are so blessed. So I was praying about what we should talk about tonight, and I thought how the world has gone crazy in a lot of ways. My belief is that our culture has drifted away from an acceptance of God's Word as kind of the foundation of what we believe to be true. And when you do that, there's no telling what you're going to come up with. One example of this is I learned recently that in San Francisco now, it is illegal to smoke in your own apartment unless you're smoking marijuana. You can't smoke tobacco, but you can smoke marijuana. You see, nowadays uh, smoking is, is no longer socially acceptable and San Francisco is so far ahead of all of us that they've decided to ban it completely in your own apartment, and so they have. However, the people who have advocated for legal marijuana, and marijuana is legal in California, said that it's illegal to smoke marijuana in public, so the only place you can is in your own place. And so if you live in an apartment, that cut you out. And so now the rule is, you can't smoke in your own apartment unless it's marijuana. I just think that just shows how crazy we get when we decide to set things up according to our own rules. Ephesians 5.15 says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. They're not, therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will, Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. The Bible never says that wine itself is wrong. In fact, Jesus made wine, contrary to some people's interpretation. But it is very clear that if we're using wine or I'd say any intoxicants, it doesn't matter what you drink or what drug you use, if you're using it to get drunk or intoxicated, then there's a problem. Why are we doing that? Are we doing that because we want to dull our senses, uh, because we can't face this life, or is it because it makes us feel good, or maybe it's because we want to lower our inhibitions? I think that's what this is talking about. Don't get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. How many bad decisions have been made because people were drinking too much? The Bible says don't do it. And it doesn't just say don't do it. It's not a, a negative thing. It's saying don't do it because there's a better alternative. Don't get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. If you want to feel better, if you want to escape the, the difficulties of your life, if you want good direction to your life and good decisions, let God's Spirit come in. And he goes on to say, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nowadays, people can come up with arguments to justify anything. And so it's good for us to remember that we as believers have an anchor for our soul. We have a framework that God has given to us to help us kind of stay in the, in the right place, like guardrails on a road. They help us to stay out of trouble. And God's Word does that. And here's one place that if a lot of people would follow this, then their life would be so much better. Let's follow God's will. It's not given to us as a test or as something to make us miserable. His demands are not burdensome. They are a blessing. God has given to us for our benefit. Thank you, Father, for your rules. Sometimes, Lord, we are so rebellious that even the idea of rules is negative. But thank you, Father, that you have guidance for our life to make them better. I pray, Father, that we will have sweet, submissive spirits to you. And I pray, Father, that we will follow your guidelines and then allow you to lead us within those to your perfect will for our lives. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this. Amen. God bless you. I hope you're praying for Paul Schrock tonight. He's in the hospital. Pray for Italo Weed. He's in Lima in the hospital as well. And just pray for all those that need the healing touch right now. We love you all and have a good night.